Ordinary ITP, above 50,000 platelets, no bleeding, no treatment. Above 50,000 platelets, no bleeding, no treatment. Less than 50,000 platelets with bleeding, steroids. Recurrent, 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 splenectomy. Life-threatening bleeding, I'm going to die today, intravenous immunoglobulins and Rogam. That's the fastest way to raise the platelet count. Well, why would these things, which have nothing to do with platelets, why would they raise the platelet count? And it has to do with a very common story called the three little platelets and the big bad macrophage. Once upon a time in the bone marrow, the three little platelets had sufficiently developed and matured enough and developed the contents of their alpha and their dense granules. And the big mother megakaryocyte says, three little platelets, three little platelets. You have sufficiently matured and developed enough, and it's time for you to go out into the peripheral blood and seek your fortune. But once they're in the peripheral blood, yucky, nasty antiplatelet antibodies start to coat the three little platelets, and all these platelets get covered with this on their surface. But since the antiplatelet antibodies don't interfere with platelet function, the three little platelets continue on their merry way looking to seek their fortune. When who should they meet? They meet the big bad macrophage. And the big bad macrophage says, three little platelets, three little platelets, let me come in. Or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blah, 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 down your trabecular meshwork and then grab you by your little FC portion. I'm going to drag you off and I'm going to drag you off to the spleen. Well, it looks a little like a kidney. I'm going to eat you up. Eat, 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 eat. The three little platelets get very scared and they go, Oh, no, 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 Mr. Big Bad Macrophage, not by the hairs of our FC portions. Oh, no, 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 no. But the body starts to develop life-threatening bleeding. And the three little platelets are crashing down and the body's going to die. And the Big Bad Macrophage comes back and says, Three little platelets, three little platelets, let me come in. Or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blah, 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 down your trabecular mesh work. I'll grab you by your MC portions and I'll take you off this spleen and eat you up. Gobble, 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 gobble. Now the body's developed in life-threatening bleeding. So the three little platelets get together $5,000 for a dose of intravenous immunoglobulins. So when the big bad macrophage comes back again, just as the body's about to die, they gotta find the fastest way to raise the platelet count, and the big bad macrophage goes, three little platelets, little platelets, come out with your FC portions up, here's your last chance. The three little platelets infuse intravenous immunoglobulins into the body, and all of the receptors for the FC portions of the immunoglobulins gets all saturated up. So when the big bad macrophage tries to eat the platelets, it can't do it because there are no more receptors for the FC portion. So the big bad macrophage is only able to say, and that's why Rogam and intravenous immunoglobulins is the fastest way to raise the platelet 